Okay, I'm still talking about Nipsey Hussle. Welcome to my page, Messages from Venus. I'm talking about Nipsey Hussle. Um, and a few other points that I didn't want to put in the last video is because I want to put these videos in my IGTV. Um, I'm going to do them from my laptop and then just store it in my IGTV. Um, I want to tell you guys that the other situation, besides the fact that it, yes and no, it was a conspiracy theory. Excuse me. Is that as a human, I'm talking about the spiritual warfare, as a human, it was, like most people will say, it was kind of like street code, right? The person that allegedly, that allegedly hit, um, um, shot Nipsey Hussle was a snitch. We don't like snitches in the hood. You snitching, you talking, you doing this, I don't know. Somebody that is a snitch and then after he went after after he killed Nipsey Hustle, um after after he killed Nipsey, he went and he checked himself into a psychiatric hospital cuz he knew what he was doing. He knew he was going to get caught. When you are going into some sort of conspiracy theory and it's only a conspiracy theory and it's not just like the outside forces, meaning, you know, spiritual warfare and you thinking that only humans are doing whatever it is that's happening in the universe or whatever. I mean, sorry, whatever's happening on this planet is just humans doing it. No, you people don't know. Number one, the human side, the background, what this this other person was thinking, what type of parasite was let go to, to, to do certain things to other people like Nipsey and what Nipsey was doing to attract this certain person at this certain time, at the perfect timing, at the perfect place, at the perfect hour to be able to do um, what he has to do um, on this planet and outside of this planet. It's not a conspiracy theory. And I'm going to keep telling you guys that because I realized it after I had a conversation with my boyfriend. My boyfriend went like, damn, they got him. Damn, they got him. They, and then I started seeing other YouTubers talking. I started seeing Young Pharaoh talking um, and, and a few other people talking about it. And it just, I, I was looking at the video. I was looking at his head. I was looking at the numerology. I was, I was thinking back and forth. And it's not a conspiracy theory at the same time being a conspiracy theory. But who was in control at the time? It was Nipsey Hussle, y'all. It was Nipsey was in control of the fucking... He created the theory. So when you create that shit and you can smack them in the face and you can escape whatever everybody else had planned for you, you checkmated them. If you were playing checkers, you fucking chess, you fucking checkmated them. Because while they thought, you know what, well, damn, we killed another one. Fuck it. We, we released a parasite into the motherfucking world and one of these godlike crystalline um, creatures is gonna die. But if you know better and you study the Santa Muerte, you study Santissima, la, la Santissima Muerte, you study the Holy Death, you study the Bible, you study the Quran, you study all the religious texts there is, you study everything that there is, you would understand that there is no death. All of the books tell you that. All of the spiritual books tell you that. But if you're a Christian, Muslim, Catholic, um, a Buddhist, it doesn't, they, all the teachings tell you to follow the motherfucking rainbow. Y'all don't motherfucking listen. You gotta follow the goddamn rainbow. And then once you get the pot of gold, you start creating your own motherfucking rainbow because the shit don't end there. Okay, you, you, you create or you cr make yourself, transmute yourself into the rainbow. And so now the game is under your control. And that's what Nipsey did. Oh, they want to put these motherfuckers out here, some bitch-ass motherfucker. This motherfucker's going to physically take me out, but he's going to force me to transmute myself into the ethers. And that's exactly what he did. That's exactly what the fuck he did. That's exactly what he did. And notice the time, the place, the hour, the, the month, the year that, that he passed away. He knew. His higher self knew. You know what? This mother, These motherfuckers ain't going to get me. They're not going to get me. I'm going to get them. Because first of all, they couldn't enslave Nipsey. All his masters belonged to them. He was not a slave to the motherfucking system. No, he wasn't. He was not a slave to the system. All that money went straight to his pocket. Everything went straight to his pocket. Period. And he reproduced it. Reproduced it. And he's going to continue to reproduce it. 
He's going to continue to reproduce it. You know why? Because now his frequency is getting higher. You guys are out here buying his, his album, his songs, listening to his music, and where he vibrated while he was making that music in a different type of frequency, in a different type of mindset. It's just a different type of mindset. And now that frequency is being heard all over the world because he wasn't just an American artist. He was an internationally known artist, rap artist, songwriter, producer, musician. And that's what's important for you guys to know. Stop looking at the physical person just passed away. The physical person just left the planet, okay? It, it's not all about that. That's still in the spiritual side. Understand that everything is a conspiracy. Understand that there is a spiritual warfare. And that when they have people out here like these parasites, these fucking snitches, saying everything, doing everything however the fuck they want to do it. They were put out to the system to play chess with you, to play that game with you. And it's up to you to interact with that or not. Then, um, another point that I wanted to make, not just to the black community, not just to the blood, not, not to the bloods, not just to the Crips. We have to recognize one another. We have to um, understand that even though we have each other's backs, know that you might have your back to the motherfucking parasite. Let's, for example, let's say this was somebody's back, right? And I'm facing this way. I'm looking out to the world. I'm looking out to the north side, right? North, south, I don't know, east, west, let's say, right? And my jacket was somebody. You looking at the world. You're fighting for your people. You're, you're, you're getting thrown these fucking lemons, the fucking tomatoes, and you fucking doing sauces and lemonades out here. Okay, no problem. The person that you can give your back to and that you're giving your back to and you know is there and you feel them moving, you feel their energy, you feel them bumping and, and doing what the fuck you think they're supposed to be doing could be the next parasite, could be the next person that turns around and they're like, you know what, this bitch, mm, she's moving too much. And it'll be the people closest to you. It'll be your family members. It'll be your friends. It'll be people in the fucking hood. It will be people in the hood. Should people go back to the hood after you cleaned the hood, after you gave back to the hood? Um, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. I would say yes, but are you going to live in the hood? No. You invest in the hood. Buy back your hood. Do what the fuck you got to do so the hood can give back to you. And then that's when you guys understand that you become Osiris. You become the shepherd. Okay? You become the good old shepherd. That's who you guys are. The good old shepherd. That's why you become it. Because now, the, 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 the other flip coin or the flip side of Nipsey buying his community back and doing what he has to do is that at the end of the day, the fucking triangle goes nowhere. Okay, the triangle goes nowhere. There will always be somebody on top and there will always be somebody at the bottom. So you don't want to bother, you don't want to be the sheep, you're going to become the shepherd and then you can't have compassion when you're up there. You cannot have compassion when you're up there. Sorry. Sorry because now you're managing, now you're overseeing, now you're going through this this this. Your hand is everywhere. Your hand is absolutely everywhere. Okay, now people work for you. Are you going to be like, oh, no, because these are people from my hood. Oh, no, that's my friend. No, 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 there's none of that anymore. There's none of that anymore. Even though he was a crip, even though he was killed by by his own, um, which is better, for you to be killed by your own or for you to be killed by some, some motherfucking parasite trying to come for your people? That's another good question that you should you guys should ask yourselves. It's not all about conspiracy theories. It's the choices that you make when you become God. And when you realize yourself, damn, this is the power that, that I have unlimited power. What will you do with the power? Nipsey understood he was God and he created everything around him. The people that were around him, everyone that was around him. And it's not just street code, you guys. It's not just, that does not just apply to street code. It applies to life. That's how you do it. And to be honest, I would prefer to go out by, by a motherfucker by, by my jacket, waiting for to stab me to motherfucking death, and I'll prepare his ass or her ass to stab me to motherfucking death than to be than to be um fucking crucified by another motherfucking unseen hand. No, bitch, I see you, I feel you, I know who the fuck you are. That's how you do it. You gotta know, you gotta see the gods. You gotta see the gods, see them, see them, watch them, and understand the alchemy within that. Understand the power that you guys hold. Not just as the black community, but as humanity. 
as a whole. I'll see you guys in the next video.